Hello everyone, just a short video to have a little fun, a little fun with our ESCs and music. There we go. Well, uh, Blue Jay has got an update, and so many veterans, you'll be able to just go through this, and intermediate and other people will be able to do it as well. I kind of thought about not passing this on, but uh, it's a fun little thing, and so I, I hope to to bring a smile to a few people's place faces. And for those people that might be veterans, I think I do have something for you on this. So let's jump down to the desk and we'll take a look. Of course, flashing your ESCs, uh, there is some risk to that, so you need to be comfortable with that risk. If you've only got one quad, I don't suggest this. Uh, if you've only got one working quad, maybe you have two or three others that are dead, I don't suggest this. Uh, again, if you're a veteran, you make your own choices. Just a friendly little warning. And make sure you take your props off when you're flashing ESCs. Okay, that's it. So here on the desktop, I wanted to show you this, esc-configurator.com. This is a web-based version of an ESC management or application. We've also got the BlueJay application up right here. I'm going to take you through ESC Configurator. Uh, the Melody side of things is a little bit simpler, but if you needed to do it in BlueJay, it's also there. But you have to copy the code line, and you'll see that in a moment, to each ESC versus esc-configurator.com web app. It does it all in one shot. Uh, you see up here, it says select serial port. So if you click that, you'll get a warning over here. Right now it says no compatible devices found. If I plug in my ESC, now we see it has the STM microelectronics virtual COM port. We click connect. That doesn't come up every time. You'll get a warning the first time. If you just plug in your USB, you won't get that little section. So now we'll go ahead and connect. I don't have a, battery plugged in so let me plug in a battery here real quick and this I didn't expect to find the first time I'd use it so we'll just do it a quick shout out oftentimes in our older days of using the BL Heli suite or the application that we would download you could use that to spin your motors of course we can do that in uh, our flight controller firmware uh, emu flight beta flight what have you it has that in there as well but if you're in here tinkering and you want to double check your uh, motor rotation to make sure it's going the way you want it to. Uh, you can do that right here, and I'll just spin this up. Hopefully you can hear my motors. They're winding, and you can also do them one at a time as well. So that's a nice little feature. Uh, let's go deeper into the ESC. We'll click Read Setup, and it comes up here, and you see already that I have got the Blue Jay version 0.12, and I'm running 48 kilohertz. Uh, so in my case, I don't need to flash it, but for the purposes of this tutorial, we'll go ahead and do the flash all. Uh, we see we have Blue Jay as well as we can go back to BL Heli, the old BL Heli. Make sure your ESC is detected properly and make sure that it's, you know, compatible, I guess, because sometimes this can come up wrong. I haven't seen it hardly more than once or twice, but if you're having ESC problems, I can see where it might not detect the right uh, version for your ESC. You'll need to check with the uh, ESC vendor on which one it is uh, titled as. And then we have the version. See, first time I did this, it was on test one. It's already at test two. And then we can select our frequency. This is where on the ESC page we see kilohertz. Typically for me, when I'm flying inside, I leave it at 24, 48 on micro motors, uh, like the ones I've got here, the 0802, 22,000 kV. It can give you a little bit more flight time, but it also slows the prop down slower. So if you need to make abrupt changes and you're not used to that slight difference, it could have an impact on your, your flight. But I'm going to go ahead and put 48 on here. And then we collect the flash all, we go back to this screen and we see the progress bars. I'm gonna speed up this section of the flashing. Just know that it goes from one ESC to the next ESC until it's finished. Okay, we're all done with the flashing. If you want the tones that you put in to be louder, pump this up a little bit. I'll go ahead and put it at uh, 106 there. And we have to go down here to where it says Open Melody Editor. And this is where I have something that the veterans might be of use. ESCTunes.com, it was a site I'd stumbled upon. If we go back into the home page here, we can see that uh, Schizo Duck created this site. And at one point in time, he had planned uh, to make it you know, a paid service. 
Uh, I think the paid service is tied to building the hex file to flash. You know, we don't really need to do that anymore. Maybe that's why it didn't finish. I noticed the building of the hex file didn't work. I also did contact SchizoDuck uh, and asked him about this site and the fact that I was, I really enjoyed the library. It's got a great library in it, but it doesn't seem like the site's finished. Uh, SchizoDuck did not get back to me. SchizoDuck, if you're out there, great work so far. Appreciate your library. Awesome. But I... Uh, it doesn't seem that the, the, the paywall or the $1 fee is actually enabled because you can see we've got a logout button here and it doesn't do anything. Um, if you hover over the get started button, there's no get it, getting started. It's just dead. It says coming soon. Don't know how long it's been that way. Uh, but I'm going to click the back button to go into the page of the uh, tunes that I wanted to look at. So it's got a lot. You can see across the top here, we've got zero all the way through Z. And it's got pages and pages. You can see, see my scroll bar here over on the side. There's a lot there. Uh, and one of the ones that's most popular is the Imperial March, of course. So if we click the little triangle for play on that. Oh, I should have clicked this one then. Sorry. So hopefully you've heard that play a little bit. Uh, now we need to take the code. That's what we need for our melody in Blue Jay. So I'm gonna copy the section of the code after the colon. So if I go all the way forward here, you can see I'm leaving all the title and I'm just capturing what comes after the code. And I'm going over to the ESC configurator and I'm gonna copy that in. And I'm gonna leave melody and its colon in place. And you can see this is red. Now this is why I wanted to bring it up. This will not play and it will not allow you to accept. Well, it'll play, but it won't allow you to write this to your ESC. It's too long. So there must be a character limit or something going on there. So if you chop this part out, you can see we can play it. And it plays. And then you can click accept. And then you click write melodies. And it's done. So now, if I disconnect, hopefully you can hear it over my microphone. It doesn't always capture this stuff. Okay, so that's how you do it in the ESC configurator. Uh, let's go back into read setup. And it's faster here because it's a one-time shot. It writes to all the motors. If you go back to the BlueJ uh, uh, firmware application, you have to write that code to each individual ESC. And we'll do that here in just a second. So let's open the melody. Uh, let's go for something else. Uh, maybe the Matrix. Should we play that one? That seems more reasonable in length. Actually, haven't listened to that one before. That's enough of that. Let's grab that code. Let's go back to the ESC configurator and we're going to plop that in here again after the colon. And then we're going to accept that and we're going to write melodies. And now if I close this, disconnect, and it should start. Okay, that one was super long. So another way of doing this, like I said, is to go in through the uh, Blue Jay application. So let's go ahead and connect. Let's read the setup. The flashing all is very, very similar. This looks very similar to what you've seen before. Make sure you do your version and then you select your frequency and then you click this button once it's enabled. I'm not gonna do that again. You've already seen that once on the ESC-configurator site. Uh, but if you want to edit via this, you click that little button for show melody editor and then you can see where this comes down here. Let's grab one more from that site and take a look. Uh, let's go, I think there was one I wanted to play because it's kind of from my late teen years. Where is it at? Oh, I finally found it. It's Axel Foley. You guys might remember that. It's a pretty fun tune. Uh, kind of reminds me of my teenage years. So I'm going to slap that on here. So I'm going to copy it. Go into the Blue Jay application. And I'm going to paste that in here. Now I got to have to do this four times. So I have to click accept now. 
copy it in again, and I'm just using the keyboard shortcuts, of course, except repetition, rinse, wash, repeat. And the last one here, go down, go down, paste that in, except, and then we're going to write setup. All right, it's done. And reading is done, so now when I click disconnect, we should hear the Axel Foley theme song. If There we go. So it's a pretty straight, simple, forward process, but I just wanted to uh, shine some light on it for the time being and have a little fun here. Keep in mind, again, friendly warning, bad things can happen when you're flashing your ESCs, so Take that with a bit of caution. This is a new feature of Blue Jay, so it might not, might not work perfectly all the time. And we've already seen a, an example here where the characters were too long. Uh, it wouldn't copy in without doing something different. So if you have other sources for these tones and these codes, please leave them in the comment section. Uh, it's very likely YouTube will slurp those off into the uh, section where I have to go in and approve them. And that's fine. I'll get to it. Um, it seems like everybody who wants to give a good link, uh, YouTube thinks it's spam. And when the spammers come, YouTube just lets it through. I don't know what's going on with that. but So if you have other sources for this, because ESCTunes.com, that could go away at any time. I have no reassurance that it's going to be around for very long. And if you know, you're know you schizo duck and you're upset, uh, you've got a DM on Instagram waiting for me. I was just kind of trying to check in with you on things. Uh, but it seems like maybe it was just a side project that maybe it's not such a project anymore. So if you're keen... That's how you add some more tones to your uh, non-32-bit ESCs using the BlueJ firmware and applications. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, or otherwise, please let me know in the comment section below. I appreciate your time. Thanks for watching.